Hi, I'm Christine from House of Smocking and in this video I'm going to try and show you how to roll your fabric onto your dowling. Now it's just difficult because of the size of the piece of fabric. So first of all you've got to decide which way you're going to roll your fabric onto the dowling. If like me when you roll the fabric from the dowling through your pleater I like to roll the fabric so it comes over the top of the rollers. Although in the instructions it does show it going underneath, but I just find that a bit fiddly. And because I um, bring the fabric over the top into the rollers, which I'll show you once I've rolled the fabric, I need to roll my fabric with the right side facing upwards. So this is the right side of my fabric. So I take my piece of dowling. Now the longest piece of dowling you've got is ideal. So if you can have one that's wide enough to go through the pleater and go through the arm at one side and then cover the length of your fabric at the other, that will be great. So the longer the piece of dowling, the better. So I've got a really long piece here, probably about 30 to 34 inches long. So I've got my fabric, I've got my dowling and line it up straight. Now what you can do if you want is you can use like a low tack adhesive tape to attach your fabric to the ro to the dowling so and if you roll set it off rolling and keep rolling now the important thing when you're rolling is that you keep the top edge because this is the edge that I'm going to pleat so you need to keep that edge if you can see it in the screen you need to keep that edge straight and level because that's the edge you're going to follow and you want to keep this the other edge along here also as tight as possible. So we just roll it, keeping that, that top edge dead straight. And so the longer the piece of the dowling, the easier this will be. So there you can see I've got my, it's rolled onto the dowling and I've got it all pretty much flush at that edge. So now I've got my fabric rolled onto my dowling and this is the wrong side of the fabric now and that's the right side. Okay, so as you can see I'm bringing my fabric over the top of the roller rather than underneath purely because I find it's simpler for that way. So to pleat this piece of fabric up, I've got six needles threaded with my um, yellow thread and then I've just got one more which will give me a little bit more um, holding uh, against the top. So normally I would place my fabric one centimetre away from that needle, so that's two spaces away, so that's in line with that groove there. And that's what I want to follow. So I'm going to line it up, if I can see for the camera. I'm going to line it up with that groove. So I just hold the fabric and we're going to turn it, turn the handle so it's gripped. That's fine. So I've got my hands free. So now what I want to do to make sure I pleat this straight is I want to watch that this fabric goes through in line with that groove. Okay. At all times. And because the needles stop here, so there's nothing to feed the fabric through beyond there. My left hand is going to feed it through, or e help it, help it through by easing it towards me. So that if this happens to walk that way, which it often does with some fabrics, then this hand is pulling it back in line. So I'm just hoping you can see well enough with this. I think you can. So if I, there we go. So I'm doing it very slowly and you can see my left hand is just easing the fabric through and as soon as the fabric starts to walk away to the right my hand is pulling it back in line to keep it straight and then every few turns camera's in the way for this but um, you pull fabric off the needles. So I'm going to keep turning and again 
keeping a good eye, good watch that it's going through that groove all the time so that my top pleater thread is always in line with my top edge. And my left hand is, can you see if I pull that, it, it pulls the fabric to the one side, so it pulls it back on course. So you just want to ease it through. And I say you do need to keep pulling the fabric off the needles every two or three turns. So that takes the tension off the needles. So I'll keep turning and we'll keep easing the fabric through. So that you always get the straight edge and your top pleater thread in line with the top seam allowance. Just struggling a bit because the camera's in the way. So I've come to the end of my fabric now and you'll see that it's all lined up with the end of my fabric so it's finished off straight. So you feed the fabric all the way down until the threads pull clear. And then we trim our threads. And there we have our pleated fabric and you can see that the top edge is all in line one centimetre away from my pleater thread. And also you can see that I've got the short stitch on the front and the long stitch on the back. Because if you read your smocking manual it'll tell you that the long stitch is the wrong side and the short stitch is the right side. So that's how we roll our fabric onto the dowling and then pleat up and how we get a straight edge and we don't wave off the top. Hope this is helpful. Thank you.